Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Kingston sent me their new KC3000 NVMe SSD. This one has PCIe Gen 4 speeds. But just how fast is it? Let's find out in this video. This is the new KC3000 2048GB NVMe SSD by Kingston. 2048GB? I've never seen such a big NVMe drive before. This is their first PCIe 4.0 M.2 drive, I think. And it can hit speeds up to 7000 Mbps, which is cool. A 5-year warranty is promised by Kingston. And free tech support is also provided if you need it. So let's get the drive out. Looks similar to all NVMe drives, but being PCIe 4.0, it should be blazingly fast. Nice design on the top with the KC3000 branding, but this sticker is actually an aluminium heat spreader with a layer of graphene. This should keep the drive nice and cool. On the other side, we have the drive capacity, which is 2048 GB, and drives are available in 512, 1024, 2048, and 4096 GB sizes. This drive uses Micron's 176-layer 3D TLC NAND flash. The controller is the Fizen E18, which is quite popular in a lot of high-performance competitors' drives. The 2048GB drive is double-sided, so it has memory chips on both the sides. The 512 and 1TB drives, which are single-sided, should be more suitable for laptops, but the double-sided 2TB and 4TB drives are not recommended as they won't have enough airflow to keep cool and if it heats up, it will start slowing down. The longevity of the drive is measured in terabytes written and this drive has a rating of 1.6 petabytes written. This is important as the drive loses the ability to write any more data and any data written can be still read though. But 1.6 petabytes written is quite a large target to hit, which is in reality around 4383 gigabytes of data per day in one year. Let's now install the drive into the system and run some benchmarks. So the disk is initialized and we can see it has a capacity of around 1.9 terabytes. Running Crystal Disk Mark, we have the read speeds of 7,371 Mbps. It has reached and breached the 7,000 Mbps we promised on the cover. And Blackmagic's disk speed test shows around 6,100 Mbps. These are some drive benchmarks from other M.2 drives I've tested earlier. The drive does have DRAM cache which allows for faster reading of data from the drive. DRAM is high speed memory which stores a map of where the data is stored on the drive allowing the drive to find the data faster. And uh, DRAMless M.2 drives cost a lot less but there is a performance penalty. Copying files between two M.2 SSDs we are getting around uh, 1.3 Gbps. It is copying from a Gen 3 to a Gen 4 drive so it might lose a bit of performance. If both were Gen 4, it should get around 1.8 to 2.0 gigabytes per second. And checking out the temps on HW Info, we can see idle temps of around 44 degrees. And while running a disk benchmark, it goes up to 57 degrees. Pretty good temps actually. And might be due to the aluminium heat spreader. The Kingston KC3000 is pretty impressive with high read and write speeds, along with long write endurance of 1.6 petabytes written. Most PCIe Gen 4 drives are hitting around similar speeds, and the KC3000 just manages to edge out ahead of other brands. Times were also controlled well and the metal heat spreader might be doing the trick. And this is my first time seeing a 2TB NVMe M.2 SSD and it should be substantially expensive. Yeah, on Amazon it's available for around Rs. 33,638. And the 4TB version costs 86,362. Not sure if these are official prices and the KC3000 has just recently been launched in India. It might take some time to stabilize. Yeah, they are expensive, but if you need the higher capacity and the speed, you will not go wrong with these. I would suggest them for creators or users who work with huge amounts of data. The faster speed should shave off considerable read time. And for gamers, unless professional, I can't suggest these for them. They can get higher capacity Gen 3 drives instead and they're still plenty fast. Performance and endurance, the KC3000 checks all the boxes and I would recommend it if you need the Gen 4 speeds. Hope the prices come down soon so that we can afford to install them on our machines. So that was the video. Make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.